Here I have an example of the finished template file, and yours should not look at my, like mine. It shouldn't resemble mine. You should do something totally different. I have used lorem ipsum text in here so that we can look at the font style. I've created buttons, and these are real buttons, real headings that I'd have and a picture of sheep. So I'm playing with the styles and I can test them out. And I did install, if you look at browser, I installed open in browser, which will let me test this easily by using Alt B or Option B if you're on a Mac, and that'll open it in a browser. And that's a little bit easier than the way we've been doing it. So here I have my template page, and I'm using styles that I imported from Google Fonts because I want to test the fonts in here. Oh, and just to show you something that makes life a little easier, if you want to do the lorem ipsum text like I've done, you can do P lorem, and it'll drop the paragraph right in that. And you can use the multiplier of like one, two, three, four, five, whatever, to have multiple paragraphs. So I'm going to show you what my style sheet looks like. And you can see I've got overflow of auto set to everything. I've got body and my background color and my colors in here and a container, which is a class. You can tell because it has the dot in front of it, H1, H2. I've got a nav bar, a nav A, and a button class that are styled exactly the same way. So if I wanted buttons further down on the page, I could do them. And uh, nav A visited, button visited. I got a space there I shouldn't have. And that should be a comma. Still doing a little debugging here. And then I have the aside all set up, header and footer, and main. And you'll notice that when I'm doing fonts, this is a font family that does not come up in our font list. It's one of the ones that I imported. And so you need to know how to get fonts from Google Fonts. I love Google Fonts. It's free and it's really easy to use. I can't remember which ones I picked, but I tend to use the sans serif fonts predominantly. I like them. I consider them the easiest to read. So I could scroll through here and go, that's a good paragraph font. I'll use that and we'll use that for my headings. So I can go into here and I can grab these and I'm going to get an HTML link. I'm going to change the fonts that I've currently got applied. So that link goes into the HTML. And so I'm going to drop into my HTML page. And I'm going to get rid of this line and drop these in. And then in my CSS, go back out here and grab those CSS. This is the two fonts I've chose. So the Chrono one is going to be my headers. So let's drop this out into my CSS file. I'm going to actually put these side by side, hide the images, and I like styles to be on the right hand side. That's just the way I like to work. And so I can drop these up here and I'm just going to leave them in as comments. And that's a keyboard shortcut where I used a command in the slash and that put my comments around here. And so I've got Chrono 1, that's going to be my, and so I want it to be Chrono 1 and sans serif, so I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to go look in the I want to do not serif, but sans serif. We'll just copy that whole thing into H2. And we'll copy the other one here 
into the body. Save everything. And then option P, oops, option B for browser. And it brings it up in my browser here. And so it's changed my font family. That does not look right. Let's take another look at that. Let's do a file save all. I'm not seeing any errors here, but I am getting that squiggly line here. Ah, it's missing a quote. There we go. Same thing here. Let's save that. Come up here. That's better. Now I'm getting that sans serif font I was looking for. So you can see the fonts applied here. And you can tell which ones have been visited. And those pages don't actually exist. But it's all up there and working the way that I'd hoped that it would. And now my background's back because that was a problem too. So that's how you use Google Fonts.